What? What, am I driving fast enough for you? Get off my tail, you moron. Unbelievable. I just go around me. Go around me. Come on, you idiot. Come on. What is your problem? All I gotta do is tap on the brakes in your history. Huh? Jerk. You like that? You like that? Unbelievable. No, you do pull over. You pull over and I'm punching the head, idiot. Ah, oh, I'm so sick and tired of people like that. Oh, well, you got you got to be kidding me. Well, that is it. You are done. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Where are you, idiot? You always drive like a maniac? You could have killed somebody. No, take it easy. I was trying to get your attention. Well, you certainly got it. What is wrong with you? Why are you tailgating people like that Please, for? Please, just calm down for a minute. I had a perfectly good reason for trying to get you to stop. Really? What was that? You're a pilot? No, my wife. My wife is a pilot. Uh, look, <laughs> I owe you an apology. It's been a rough week, and uh, it's already been an eventful morning. I mean, not that that's any excuse for... You look pretty tired. I sound like my wife. Uh, I guess it's just been a really long week. I, I gotta get to work. I got so many fires to put out today. Sorry I bit your head off, really. I... Yeah. You heading to work, too? Nope. Already there. Oh. Sleep disorders, huh? Mm -hmm. You a nurse or something? Doctor, actually. Oh. Wow. Oh. Well. Well, thanks. Sorry. I'm safe. <sighs> nice, Greg. Real nice. Some lady tries to help you, and you're ready to kill her. What is going on with me lately? Mr. Anderson, you are 40, senior management at a major airline overseeing lots of people and equipment, mm -hmm. married, father of a teenage daughter. Mm -hmm. Your weight is normal, blood pressure is elevated, and your blood sugar levels look like they could use some improvement. I don't know. I feel kind of stretched lately. Look, Mr. Anderson, it's not rocket science. The advice I'm going to give you could apply to anyone in any industry, but I am not going to lie to you. You're going to have to break some bad habits and form some new, better ones. You're going to have to get a lot more rest. And when it comes to sleep, you're going to have to start taking some personal responsibility. 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 Responsibility? What does she know about responsibility? You got thousands of lives and millions of dollars resting on your shoulders. She don't know what it's like. You've got to get more exercise and drink less alcohol. You work 60 hour weeks. You're constantly running up and down the stairs at the office and the maintenance facts. That's exercise. Yeah. After all that, you deserve to knock back a few cold ones, right? Absolutely. You're not indestructible. Everyone needs adequate sleep. Eight hours a night, at least. Eight hours? Ridiculous. You don't have time for that. And what a sweeping generalization. 
we're all human. Yeah, maybe. But your job is tough. And you're tough. You don't need as much sleep as the next guy. Look, tell her, tell her we'll sleep when we're dead. Right now, we got work to do. Hey, Alex, glad you called. Yeah, the staff manual definitely covered the Denver aircraft. I got a text at almost midnight saying they just finished the installation. Yeah, I know it was on the ground too long. Should be back online this morning. I still got to figure out who takes a hit for the delay. You can't service a plane without parts. Come on, come on, come on, let's go! What? No, 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 the roads are crazy right now. Hey, look, we'll get it all sorted out at the meeting. Yeah. I want that inventory manager on the line for sure. Yeah. Hey, while I got you on the phone, did you score those box seats for Saturday night? What? No, it doesn't go that late. Come on, see, you sleep in Sunday morning. All right, all right, all right. Hey, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Yeah, thanks. You're tired, Mr. Anderson. You're already in a mood, and you're distracted by the phone while driving. You're even imagining things. Skip the Saturday night game and go to bed early. It may not cancel out your serious sleep deficit, but it is a good first step. Is she still blathering on? You take this route to work every day. A short phone call is no big deal. You can drive this way with your eyes closed. With your eyes closed. With your eyes closed. With your eyes closed. Oh, yesterday was tough. Alice was flying, so I had to do everything myself. I couldn't sleep that well, so I just went to work really early. We had a customer aircraft waiting for the paint hanger, with one already in it needing to be finished. Problem was, we had a time performance clause on the waiting plane, and we wouldn't make any money if we missed a deadline. On top of that, we were retiring two aircraft for desert storage, so I was down a couple of flight and maintenance crews already. Oh, and did I mention that we were doing our usual launch of 1,138 flights per day? I remember thinking, <laughs> if we had the slightest glitch, we were going to be in trouble. I mean, there was just no room for a problem anywhere. But a problem was just what we got. That's terrific. A 737 in Denver had some kind of intermittent short in one of the critical navigation units. I need the plane in the air. I know everyone wants to go home. I know this. No, but you need to have your two best guys from Graveyard Shift stay on and work till it's ready. They can sleep on the weekend keep things moving, I had them borrow equipment from another 737 that wasn't due to fly till later that day. I figured the grounded plane would be ready to fly no later than 10 o'clock. And by then, we'd have the replacement parts we needed to get the second plane operational again. It was a good plan. It made sense. It almost worked. Okay, I'll take the good news first. Yeah, Naftu's power harness is fixed. Fantastic. That's great. What's the bad news? How is that possible? How do you knock out Nav 1 in the process of fixing Nav 2? No, you don't forget and plug the unit in under power. Even the job card mentions a circuit breaker. Fine, fine. What's done is done. What's done is done. It's a common unit. Every line station that size has at least one of them on the shelf, right? Every station that is except Denver. Lean inventory, they call it. Lean inventory. So, I wanted a replacement part on the next flight from Dallas. All I can do... And then there was the lightning storm in Dallas. Yeah. 
Bad enough to delay the flight with my replacement part on it. So, now I got three planes hidden. The broken one in Denver, the one I stole parts from, and the delayed one in Dallas. Of course it is. No wonder this airline is struggling. Yeah, send the graveyard guys home. Hey, make sure they brief the day shift on the entire situation before they go. Keep the day crew on the clock until the job is done. They can handle the extra hours. Weekend's only a couple of days away. Yeah, call me when it's done. So where is it? What do you mean it was misrouted? This isn't a customer's luggage or something. No, no, no. How, how can you do this to critical company equipment with an aircraft on the ground? Is this amateur hour or what? No, it is not amateur hour. This is all based on solid scientific study. Oh. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear this, but I think a close look at yesterday's events points the finger squarely at you. Me? Look, look, I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said Do that. Do these but words you're... sound familiar? Keep the day crew on the clock till the job is done. Keep the day crew on the clock until the job's done. They can handle the extra hours. <sighs> Humans have limits. The graveyard crew shorted Nav 1 around 9 in the morning. They'd only been on the clock 10 hours then, but they were coming off the worst shift possible. Extended hours combined with disrupted circadian cycles from working the night shift is probably enough to affect their performance. Oh, here we go again with science laying a guilt trip on us. How were you supposed to know those guys were going to make mistakes? You thought they'd at least follow the technical documentation, tired or not. Oh, and by the way, the fact is... Graveyard shift workers do wake up near the end of their shift. That's why they have such a hard time going to sleep when they get home. So if anything, they were more awake when we had them work over than they were at the start of their shift. We were right to have them work on. Try explaining her crackpot theory at the staff meeting. See how far that gets us. Ugh. What a day. Twelve hours of insanity. What, was it a perfect storm or just a comedy of errors? One thing I do know, my boss will not be laughing at tomorrow's meeting. I just need some fresh air. A little rock and roll, good hockey game on TV tonight, maybe a few drinks. Tomorrow, I'll be as good as gold. Amen, brother. You won't be any good to anybody if you don't get some quality sleep tonight. You should get at least eight hours per day, and you haven't had that in at least five days. If sleep were money, you'd be bankrupt right now. And stop drinking sodas so late in the day. The half-life of caffeinated beverages is about six hours. So the effects of that caffeine you're drinking won't have worn off by the time you go to bed. Get some rest.
Greg is like a lot of workers in a lot of industries. He works hard all week long and then tries to catch up on rest on the weekends or days off. Catch-up sleep is great, but towards the end of the work week, Greg's focus and clarity begin to wane. He's impaired. Heather, for the last time, let's go. It's time for school. You have to. We're leaving in 10 minutes. How was your flight? Long. Ugh. You don't look so good. Thanks. I just meant you look tired. So do you. I flew all night from Argentina. I am tired. I'm on a flight on Sunday. <clears throat> Listen, could you take this uniform to the cleaners today? Tell them I'll pick it up tomorrow afternoon. Oh, can't you go? I got a crazy day today. I've been in the air for 12 hours. I need to get some sleep. Forget it and do it myself. You know, it's one suit, Greg. It wouldn't have killed you. One big, happy, sleep-deprived family. At least Alice has an excuse. She's been working all night. She needs to get into a dark room and get some sleep. Hey, Alice. Change clothes and I'll take your suit this morning, okay? It's no big deal. Heather, let's go! Teenagers need a lot of sleep, more than adults. Getting to sleep earlier would cut back on sleeping in, and it might bring a little more peace to the morning routine around here. Ow! I hate this thing. Greg is a mess. One suit, huh? And a few other things. Go on to work. I'll take Heather to school when she gets up. What's that smell? Toaster's evil. Not evil, you just don't follow procedure when you're tired. <sighs> so, there he goes again. Off to work. He's had poor sleep all week, mostly due to his own bad habits. See how he's heading out with nothing more for breakfast than two cups of coffee? Greg's situation isn't unique. Most of us are misinformed about the effects of sleep loss, or we make excuses for our fatigue. It's easy to rationalize and tell ourselves we don't need sleep, but we do. We all do. Fortunately, there are some very simple things we can do to avoid, or at least greatly reduce, that sense of fatigue. Check out the FAA website for your free copy of the Fatigue Survival Toolbox. It'll help you discover if you're getting enough sleep. The results may really surprise you. Besides, do you really want to go through your life feeling grounded? So be good to yourself and get some rest. Sweet dreams. We hope that you enjoyed the video and learned that proper sleep is critical to your decision making and problem solving capability. Proper rest affects your communication skills, including listening. It affects your hands-on skills like driving or physical work. Proper rest ensures your good health, as well as your disposition. Enough said. You just saw the video. A couple of years back, Dr. Bill Johnson and Dagmar Midcap looked at Dagmar's sleep habits. They counted her sleep, and it did not add up. Does yours? Please review the Counting Sleep video, then go to www.mxfatigue.com to download your sleep diary and other alertness support materials.